let's talk about self-knowledge. These days, self-knowledge is a terminology which is trending. Many people are speaking about self-knowledge uh, being on that path of discovery. But usually what this tends to mean is self-knowledge as knowing about the personality, knowing about your like or dislike, knowing about things about yourself, knowing about what you want to do in life, knowing about these things which are related to the body-mind complex, to the body, to the mind, to the emotions, to all these aspects. So this terminology, self-knowledge, has nothing to do with self-knowledge. It is the knowledge of the non-self. What does this mean? Like I've explained previously, <clears throat> I say it's my body, my mind, my emotions. I am not the body, not the mind, nor emotions. If I'm not the body, nor the mind, nor in, nor in the emotions, what interest is for me to investigate these aspects. So knowing about these structures is to know enough to remove the investments out of these structures. But if I'm polarized on discovering what these characteristics are, what these traits are, what I like, what I want to do with life, I'm coming from the standpoint that I am the body-mind, this is un unquestionable for me, and I need to know this body-mind, so to know what makes this body-mind happy. So this is a movement of increasing uh, the dream, illusion, feeding illusion. It is the road to maintain suffering. If this is important to know about these structures is to be able to remove investment from them and not to increase investment. And this may set you on the path towards self-knowledge. But it is not self-knowledge. So knowing about personality, about physical traits, about your emotional uh, level about your mind and thoughts and desires and what you really desire and all of this. It's not self-knowledge. It is the knowledge of the non-self, of the mistaken identity. Self-knowledge is the knowledge that directs you and takes you to the ultimate reality, to who you really are. That is the eternal, everlasting, supreme being, which is your real existence, which has nothing to do with the body-mind complex, which is the background of, for the projection of all illusions. It is the absolute existence. So, in the scheme that I presented in the beginning, like ego is in the middle, and then there's the body-mind complex, where he's standing with his feet, and r real identity, upwards. So, as he is taking care of subjects connected to the body-mind, his attention moves downwards, so away from his real nature. As he let go of these body-mind issues and turns his attention and remains with his attention, increasing love and devotion, it will be pulled self-realization. It's a very simple graphic, yes, but it will do for now for you to understand that the knowledge, the self-knowledge is the knowledge that makes you gain distance from the body-mind complex and its surroundings, what you call your life or the life of the body, its future, uh, whatever is connected to it. It is that knowledge that deviates you from there and turns your attention upwards in the direction of 
the real self. <clears throat> By knowing the attributes of the self, characteristics of the self, knowing what the non-self is, and that is where these characteristics that you were investigating about the personality, physicality, this is what, if, knowing about this is knowing about the non-self. Coupled with self-knowledge, which is the knowledge of your real identity, even if it is just information, that will help you to discriminate in your actions uh, of what are you embracing really. Are you investing, embracing the non-self and investing in the non-self direction? Or are you investing in the self direction? So self-knowledge is the road that, that goes in the direction of your real identity. And the knowledge of the non-self is that road that leads you. If you're mistaking it for the self, it's the role that leads you to more, more body-mind identification, confirmation, or maintenance of the already identification present. So these terms, these terminologies, self-knowledge is being misused because self-knowledge has nothing to do with the body-mind complex, nothing to do with, your, with what you call your body, physical body, nothing to do with what you call your emotions, nothing to do with what you call your thoughts, your mind, nothing to do with that personality. Who cares what the personality likes or dislikes? It's a momentary issue. And either you are purging it out so you can ascend or you are continue letting go, letting the confusion continue and prolonging your misery. So self-knowledge is that which gives you discrimination about what is the self and non-self and directs you towards the self. So meditation, tapas, which is um, discipline, sacrifice, um, remaining close to holy people, to saints, sages, your master, silence, um, and self-inquiry. So all these things, they are directing to the self. The self which is the transcendence of that which you appear to be. So that is the real self-knowledge, is the knowledge of the self, of the I, of who I really am. Who or what? Because who is a little bit misleading. Self-knowledge. 